Hello everyone. In this Swift UI lesson, we are going to learn on how we can create the movable grid in Swift UI. So let's see an example. Here we have a movable grid and let's see how it works. So it works with an animation and it works with a bouncy effect. So we are going to learn on how we can create this movable grid with an animation effect. First of all, let's create a text with an herring Swift UI movable grid. Then let's add a style to it. Now let's create a scroll view and add dot vertical because we will be adding uh, items vertically and we will be enabling scroll vertically. So next we will create a columns. We will declare columns the way we want our grid items to be divided. So let's create let columns is equals to array repeating with grid items spacing of 10 and count three. So in each row, we will be having three columns. Next, we are going to create lazy vertical grid. And in this grid, we are going to declare the columns and with the spacing of 10. After adding spacing and column, let's add the content to it. Now for the content, we will be declaring array. Here we have an array of colors. And next, we will also create a state property wrapper to get the selected color, the one which we will be dragging around the grid. So let's create a for each loop. And in this for each loop, let's create array color id.self. Now we will create a loop to iterate these colors in array. Next, we are going to create a geometry reader to get the size. Now we will look later how this, how this geometry reader is being used. So let's create a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 10 and with a fill color of gradient. So color dot gradient will be changing as per the color that we will be getting in for each loop. Next, we are going to add draggable color. And after adding draggable, let's add a frame height. Here we did a little mistake. We added rounded rectangle with a corner size, whereas it should be corner radius. After adding corner radius, the error disappeared but we can see that grid is are not properly aligned so we will be removing the frame from rounded rectangle to our geometry reader and now if we are going to look we have a grid aligned properly now the rounded rectangle in draggable will denote the rectangle that we will be we will see while dragging our square from one place to another now we are going to fill this color with an opacity of 0.7 Next, we are going to declare the frame, the size of it. Now here it is where we are going to add the size that we declare in geometry reader. After adding frame, we will add dot on a pair. Now on a pair, it assigns the color which is being dragged to a dragging color. Next, let's add a drop destination. Like we will be dra dragging and dropping to some destination. For that, let's add item comma location and let's written false for now. And now let's add a target. It is targeted. So we will be moving on the different targets. Now we will check if the status is true and it's being dropped and we have some dragon colored assigned. And it is not equal to the color on which it is being dropped. Now we will set source and destination index. So here we have added source index and destination index. So the color which is being dragged is a source index and the destination index is a color on which our dragging color is being dropped. So that is color. Now next we are going to create an animation with dot bouncy effect and what we are going to do is we are going to set a lot source item. So we are going to remove our dragging color from our array and we are going to add it to our destination index. So here we have remove it from the source and we have added in the destination index. Now let's look at how it looks like. So here we have successfully achieved Swift UI movable target. Now, now if someone wants to create a to do list with the one column, so what we, what he or she is going to do is that he is going to change it to count one. Now it can be replaced. Like you can prioritize your task by dragging it. So you can use this functionality to either create a to-do list or some tasks which you need to set it to priority. Or you can create any puzzle game using Swift UI Movable Grid. 
Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it. Stay tuned for more.